Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is the third episode of MicroPython series. So in this series, we'll, I'll assure that you'll get all comfortable in writing codes in MicroPython. So in this particular episode of MicroPython series, we'll all get to learn about how we can enable SP32 board Bluetooth option with the help of MicroPython. And in the meantime, we'll also learn about some hardware interrupts, hardware timer, some basic tricks about MicroPython. And this video is going to the continuation of the episode one and episode two. If you haven't watched these episodes, I will suggest you to go watch this episode first. I will be adding the link for both the episode in the description box. So without wasting some more time, let's get started. So guys, we are going to start with the timer part. So for the timer part, we are going to use the LED pin of the SP32 board. So first we will start with the importing the machine library. So we will type from machine import pin comma timer. So first we will define the LED. So LED as we all know how to define the LED. So the GPIO pin of the built-in LED of the SP32 is 2. So just we will write pin bracket 2 comma pin dot out. So that's it for defining the LED pin. So now we will define the timer variable. So before this, we will have to know about the timers of the SP32 board. So SP32 is having a two timer group. So each timer group is containing two two timers. So basically SP32 is having four timers. So we are going to use the one timers that is the timer zero. So we will define timer is equal to timer bracket zero. That's it for defining the timer. So now for, we'll define the functions for the timer, which what type of timer it is, how many periods, which type of callback or which type of action in the timer should perform. So we'll define it like that. So timer dot init bracket. So first we'll define the period of the timer. So that means how many time time it should last so that means we will define period is equal to 1000 so that means for each one second timer should reset or and then we will define the mode of the timer so basically there are two modes that is first is the one shot mode that means only at once the timer should perform and the second is the periodic. So that means at the each cycle, this timer will work. So we will define the mode is equal to periodic. And after this, we will just write the callback. That means which type of action this particular timer will take. So for this, we will define callback. Callback is equal to now we will type one more thing lambda lambda is so here there is the new this is the new word name that is lambda so basically lambda in the micro python is used for defining a single lines of functions that means if i want to define a function in a single particular line so i will use lambda in place of def so we will define lambda t colon space so i will define the function i will write the function that means so here we are going to toggle the led at each interval of time so i will type led dot value bracket dot space led dot dot value so I guess all brackets is perfectly clear. So here I forgot to write timer dot. So that's it. So we'll just now save the code 
and we'll stop the backend and now we'll run the current script so as you can see it here the built-in led of the sp32 is going to toggle at each interval of time that we have defined so yes this is all about the timer so let's see about the interrupts hardware interrupts So guys, we are going to see how we can set the hardware interrupt. So for that, we'll just define one more variable that is the button variable. So that means we're going to use the built-in button of the SP32 board to trigger the interrupt. So just we'll define the pin so that inbuilt button pin is GPIO0. So we'll define dot in so that's it for defining the button so now we'll define the uh, request I interrupt request part so here for interrupt request we will just write it bmt dot irq so, so irq means the interrupt request so in the interrupt request we will just need to define the trigger part that means which type of interrupt is this so uh, whether this is the falling interrupt whether this is the rising interrupt whether this is the high level interrupt or whether this is the low level interrupt so basically these are the types of interrupts so here we are going to use the falling interrupt that means when we are going to press the button the interrupt should trigger so for defining it we will just type the trigger part is equal to pin dot irq underscore falling so that's it for defining the interrupts and now we will define the handler attribute so handler attribute means so when we will trigger the button so which type of action should perform so that means whether we should turn on the LED we will turn off we should turn off the LED or we'll write something inside anything inside the function so we'll just write button IRQ that's it so for the same we'll just define the function and we'll write something in that def this will just def we'll give some argument that's it we'll print the some message that is IRQ triggered so that's it so now we'll just simply save this and we're going to stop the backend we're going to run this so yes now we can see it here when I whenever I am going to press this boot button so as we can see with we will got some message that print is going so as in the Python we just need to give print as a keyword so we'll just stop the backend again we'll save this and we'll run it again so when we I am going to press the boot button so we can see it here the message should be present in the shell window again I will check so IRQ trigger is there so this is all about the hardware interrupt so Guys, let's quickly go to check for the Bluetooth communication part. So, for the Bluetooth communication part, I have already written the code. So, I am going to directly copy the code from here and pasting it in the main.py file. So, let's uh, go line by line for this particular code. So, first of all, we have included some important libraries that we have. First is the machine library that we imported the pin and the timer from it. And second is the time library here we have imported this sleep underscore ms basically previously in the uh, previous episodes we have used the sleep from the time library that is to going to give the sleep in the seconds right so here we have going to give the sleep in the milliseconds so that that's why we have used it here and fourth is the you go to library so basically this is the very important library for this particular line of code so here luckily we have already a bluetooth library present in the micro python that's why we have just simply imported it so uh, next is the uh, message variable so this particular message variable here we have uh, used 
So whatever communication we are going to do with the Bluetooth devices and ESP32, so this particular we are going to store the data into this particular string. So first of all, just we have initialized using the empty string. So next uh, here we can see the class ESP32 BLE. So so what this class means? So basically, uh, we will just consider the class by taking a very simple example. So let's suppose we have one customer class and the customer class is containing the data like um, name method, phone number method, address method. So basically all kinds of information inside the customer class that is linked to the customer. So similarly in, in that particular manner only, SP32 BLE class will contains the events that is related to the Bluetooth part. Basically, connected event, disconnected event, register event, sent event, advertisement event. So everything that is related to the Bluetooth. So uh, quickly we will go one by one to each method and we will see the functionality of that. So the very first method is the init method. So in Python, this particular method is known as special method. So why it is special, we will see. So uh, as we can see, the one more method that is con connected, right? So at the call of each particular method, this particular init method will be called along with it. So in whatever we have written inside this init method, so it will initialize those particular variables or particular functions. So at each call of each methods along with these those this init method will be called so we don't need to write the each conditions along with a different different method so that is the beauty of this init, init method inside this micro python or python so the next method is the connected right so first in this particular method we have just retained the LED values to be turned into the on state and after this we have just reinitialized the timer so in the disconnected method in the next method so here we have just simply toggling the LED with the 100 milliseconds of delay so at each 100 milliseconds of time period the LED will be toggling when the device is in the disconnected state so next is the BLE IRQ, BLE interrupt request. So basically it is getting in two basic arguments that is the event and the data. So if the event state is one, so device will be in the connected state. And when the device is in the disconnected state, so that means the event, the event is the two. And the third event that is the three value. So in this particular state, when the message is getting transmitted, when the data is getting transmitted, the event is third. So basically here we are just getting, we are storing the message data, the data that we are going to receive in the ESP32. We are storing it in the message and then we are printing it here. And in the very next method, that is the register method, we, we can see the different IDs of this particular, particular Bluetooth device. So we will keep same as it is that we have written it here. And going to the next two method, that is the send method and the advertiser method. So in the advertiser method, so that means when our device is in the disconnected state, so it will going to show the specific name of our devices to the nearest Bluetooth device. So that advertiser method will show the, the, that particular name. And in the send, send method, so whenever the, whichever data we are going to send into the Bluetooth devices, this particular method will send those data. And uh, yes, that is all about the SP32 PLE class. So now coming to the uh, main part of our code, that is just we have defined some variables. That means that we have defined the LED variable, we have defined the button variable, we have defined the variable that is the BLE. Basically, that this will enable the Bluetooth and it will show the name of the device, the Bluetooth device that is the SP32 as this particular name. So we can change it according to our 
project. So next we have defined one function so that will be triggered when the Bluetooth when the button may be pressed. So this this means it will send some data to the PLA device that is that is containing the LED state will be toggled. So similarly, this is very similar to the previous line of code that we have checked it for the interrupt method. So similarly, we have written the button interrupt request as a hierarchy falling, and we have handled the button hierarchy function. That is, we have just defined it over over here. And in the loop, what we have written. So uh, here we have uh, previously we can see the message message right message string. So in the above part we can see it here whichever the data we are getting it from the bluetooth device that is our esp32 we are going to store into the message string right and also we have defined this particular message variable as a global so what is the global variable what is the local variable for that we have previously discussed in our episode number two so we can uh, see those particular things also in the previous episode of this series so whatever when we are receiving the data as status from the bluetooth device so we should first very next step we we'll should clear the message as again as, as an empty string and we should print the current mode status of the led the, whether the led is in the on state whether the led is in the off state similarly we have to send that particular data to the bluetooth device also that that it is connected with our ASP32. So similarly, if the LED value is on, it will show the LED is on. If LED value is off, it will show the LED value is off. Similarly, it will send the same data is to the Bluetooth nearest Bluetooth device. So and after this, we are going to provide the very hundred milliseconds of sleep time. So let's save this particular code and run this so as we can see the bluetooth device is in the pairing state that is in the dis uh, right now it is in the disconnected mode and it will show the name with the help of advertising cloud. so i am just opening the secondary device and we, we, we can see the uh, we can download one app that is the Bailey terminal app and we can see the same see the same so here we just click on the scan button and we can see the devices named as uh, anything that we yeah, have just entered that is the Akash ASP32 so you just click on that particular device and here we can see whenever when we have clicked on the connected button the LED state is getting into the one that is the on state so here similarly we can see in the terminal also so let's try with typing the status so s t a t u s send it so right now we are getting it status as a led is on similarly we are getting it as in here in the shell window also so let's try it by toggling the led state Similarly, we are getting it here. LED state will be toggled. LED state will be toggled. So now we can, we have turned off these LED states. Again, we will type the status and we will see. So as we can see, now we are getting the status as a LED is off. So so this is a very basic communication in between the Bluetooth devices with the help of MicroPython. Similarly, you can also uh, program the code to create the home automation device to control the any appliances in your home using the Bluetooth. So I have written some small piece of code to control the home appliances with the help of Bluetooth only. So please go check this out. I am attaching the link in the description box. Thank you uh, friends for watching this video of MicroPython series. I will hope that you will get something from this particular episode. So in the upcoming episode of this MicroPython series, we are going to learn about API request, Wi-Fi, AP and the station modes. So till that time, if you have liked this video, please hit the like button, 
subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends who wants to learn micropython so i will be see you in the next video